Hi, I'm Missy with On William Street, and we are here to help you become a more confident quilter, from the piecing to the quilting and everything in between. This week we're going to make a really fun project that will use up some scraps. We're going to make quilt-as-you-go placemats. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to gather all of your fabric. So we just went through our scrap bins and pulled out about seven different fabrics. You can use as, as however many you want. You can use five, you can use ten, whatever works for you. You're going to need about 25 one and a half inch strips and you're going to want to have these at least 24 inches long. So if they're longer than that, don't worry about trimming them down. We're going to trim them as we go. And if you've got a few that are shorter than that, that's okay. Hold on to those. We can use those for the edges of the place mat. Okay, and then you will also need to have your batting and a back piece for your place mat. So those, you're going to want to cut them at least 15 by 19. This placemat is going to finish at about 14 by 18. So you want your back and your batting pieces to be one to two inches larger than the top. That'll just give you a little bit of wiggle room. So we've gone ahead and we've got our backing. We've already sitting on top of our batting, ready to go. And those are 15 by 19 inches. So we're going to start with one of our smaller pieces right here along the edge. You're going to want to make sure that you're getting all the way to that corner on the edge. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay it on there so that we know where it's going to go. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, and then add our second piece. Because this is a, a quilt as we go, we're going to fold this over. So when we sew this on, they're just going to lay right here on top of each other. And we're going to sew this a quarter of an inch seam directly on top of the back and the batting. So we're using our quarter inch foot so we can go ahead and match this fabric up right along the side of this foot. And then we're just going to kind of gather up the rest of our placemat back and batting in the throat of our machine for now. And you don't need to worry about a back stitch or anything on this. Just go ahead and sew straight across. And then we're going to fold that top piece over and we're going to go ahead and sew on a quarter inch seam along this side and then again along this side. And that's going to give us some fun quilty texture in our placemat. And as I mentioned, we're doing about a quarter of an inch, but don't worry um, too much about it being exactly perfect a quarter of an inch. If you need to if make it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, it will be just fine. So I'm actually going to, now that it's already in the machine, and just flip this around, and then I'll pull it up and move it over. Right back down on my quarter of an inch. Then I can worry about trimming th threads later. And then we'll add in our next strip. And again, we're going to lay it on top of that. We want to make sure that we've got the length that we need. So right here where we've got a little bit of a, a trimmed corner, I want to make sure that this is going over there before I lay my strip down on that. And then we're going to fold that over. And again, we're going to come right back over the top and sew our quarter inch seams.
Okay, now we're ready for our next piece. And again, you wanna just make sure that you're getting the coverage that you need on that side. And this is one of our longer strips. So we'll just kind of match it up along that side, make sure we have the space we need. And then we'll fold it over. We're going to want to sew our quarter of an inch along this side before we do any trimming. That just kind of helps keep things in place where they need to be. And then before we add in our next piece, we'll go ahead and just trim this off because there might be enough length on here that we can use um, later on as we get down into the placemat. And then we'll just continue on um, all the way across the placemat following this process. Now that we've got all of our strips sewn on, we are ready to go ahead and trim this. So it's going to be easiest to trim it from the back because we've got uh, that backing fabric is straight and all of our strips are kind of fuzzy and hanging all over the place. So we're going to use our ruler and our rotary cutter and just line it up right along the edge of that backing fabric. And then cut all those extra strips off. And then when we're lining it up on this side, you want to make sure that it's nice and square so you don't end up with wonky placemats. Okay, now that we've got those two sides and we've got a nice square point on this side, we can go ahead and line it up on our cutting mat where we want those finished pieces to be. So where we want this, as I mentioned, it's gonna be 14 by 18, so I'm gonna put this right here on the 14 line. Make sure it's matching all the way down. Well, I've got that top lined up against that one inch line. That'll keep things nice and straight for us. And then we're gonna go ahead and just trim this extra off that we don't need. And then same on this side. So this we'll want to move it down so that we are looking at our 18 inch mark okay now we are ready to bind and our placemats are completed so this is a really fun project to use up all of your scraps on place mats. You can use it on throw pillows, great for holiday throw pillows to have out for different times of the year. It also makes a really fun quilted texture on the front of a pillowcase. So lots of opportunities to use this technique and it just helps you um, practice some of that straight line quilting with your domestic machine and it's something that you can do without having to have a long arm. So, we hope that this has been helpful and that you've learned something new. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. And don't forget to um, select the bell so that, you don't, so that you get notified every time 
we release a new video and like our videos. And you can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook and see what we are up to next. And we will see you next week.